Hi guys, so let's set up Google services first. As you can see on, uh, on my screen, uh, I'm logging into uh, Firebase web console, I'm using my Google account. I have created uh, an empty Google test project, as you can see nothing is uh, in here. Uh, I will use this robot test project to show you how to set up everything from the scratch. Let's start first with uh, adding a Firebase um, application, Android application. A package name, let's copy the package name from the application. Application name, robot test. And now we have to define uh, signing certificate. I, I have to do this because I already have one application with this package registered and it is running in my robot control project and um, in order to differentiate between these two applications I have to define uh, an explicit and different signing certificate for this test uh, application. So let's do this. This is also a similar uh, approach that you take when you develop your application and for example have a different version for uh, for dev testing, for staging and for production. It's the same package but different signing certificates. So let's, uh, let's generate uh, such a certificate now and let's copy the secure hash here. I will switch to my terminal um, here is the command that you can use to generate uh, key store. Uh, this key store has the same the same alias, store pass, and key pass as the default Android uh, um, key store. So uh, let's generate it. Ukash Budnik org unit org wejrowo po morskie Poland yes this is correct uh, it was uh, generated now I can list this uh, the keys in this key store there is only one so uh, it will be printed and as you can see there is some information about my uh, certificate I will copy the secure hash from the console from the terminal to the console and I will add this application okay uh, I don't have to finish uh, step number two and step number three uh, I will just close this uh, window and refresh my browser and here is my application created. Uh, in case you didn't uh, see what was the, the exact command to generate the, um, the key store, it is uh, of course in the readme of my, uh, my project. Uh, just uh, go to the repository and here it is. Copy and paste it. As you can see it is using my uh, home directory it is not hard coded to users uh, Lukash uh, it is uh, using uh, a placeholder also this placeholder is referenced here in the Gradle application so it should work on your um, on your machine without any changes let's get back to the Firebase uh, console and let's finish setting up Google services the first thing we need to change is uh, authentication. Uh, we have to enable Google uh, authentication. So let's enable it. We will use the default uh, parameters. That's fine. Okay, Google is enabled. Now let's uh, set up database. As you can see, there are default security rules um, enabled. We want to change them. The default security rules simply allow reading and writing to all authenticated users, which we don't want, uh, because then all users would be able to write uh, 
uh, records, uh, even uh, records which do not belong to them. So let's change them. I will switch to terminal. Uh, here is my second project, Google Speech API, which you can also find on GitHub. And it has uh, some additional files which we can use in order to set up uh, security rules, uh, lifecycle, and so on. So let's take a look at the database security rules first. And I will copy it and paste into the web console. As you can see uh, now, under the users, there is a user ID placeholder and we allow writes and reads to uh, users user ID only for those authenticated users whose user ID matches the user ID in a database. So let's publish it. There's also a simulator. If you want to fine tune your uh, rules, you can use it. Uh, okay, so uh, we're done with the database. Now with the storage. Again, let's change the default security rules. Default security rules allow reads and writes to all authenticated users. We, uh, we want to change it. Uh, users should be able to read and write only files that belong to them. So uh, let's take a look at the Google Speech API project one more time. There is a file called um, storage security. Okay, let's copy it and paste into the web console. I will copy the match part from here. Okay, and remove this one. Similar to security rules that we have in database, everything that goes under users, user ID, audio, and wildcard, uh, only users uh, whose user ID matches the user ID in the storage will have read and write permissions. So let's publish it. Okay. Another uh, thing that we should enable on our storage, which um, you cannot do from the Firebase uh, console, is to uh, enable lifecycle rules. If you go to the project you can see that there is a bucket lifecycle json file and uh, it looks like this there is a one lifecycle rule which uh, has an action delete uh, when the files are older than one day basically i'm not removing explicitly files the files are automatically removed by google so let's uh, let's enable this lifecycle rule we have to log in into uh, gcloud tool, gcloud auth login. Window pops up and uh, authenticate here. Okay, I can close this now. And as you can see, I'm uh, successfully logged in. Uh, now I can uh, Oh yeah, uh, the the project is set to robot test, so that's that's fine. And now let's uh, set those lifecycle rules. So it's gsutil lifecycle set bucket lifecycle JSON. That's the JSON file and the uh, Google storage location. So let's hit enter. Okay. Uh, setting lifecycle configuration was successful. Let's just verify it. GSUtil lifecycle get and the location. So yeah, you can see that there is a rule whose action is delete after uh, after one day. Okay, so uh, that's us setting up Google services. We have uh, one Android application with our signing certificate. We have authentication enabled. 
we have uh, database um, security rules updated, storage security rules updated with lifecycle changes. Now let's um, let's build the Android application. Okay, first <laughs> uh, we have to download uh, the Google JSON configuration file from from the web console. Let's download it. Okay. Okay. It's copied and uh, what is left is to simply run the application. I will use my Sony device. Let me just unlock the the screen. Okay, and let's copy. And let's start it. Gradle is building. Okay, the package has been built. And the application is starting. Okay, first the uh, the phone registered in Firebase uh, service and here is a callback that I received with the Firebase registration token. I will hit uh, continue. Now on my phone I am clicking the, uh, the login button and selecting my Google account. And uh, here we are. Uh, another breakpoint showing that uh, there was a successful sign in. I will continue. Okay, the application is working on my phone. Let's now check if uh, everything is fine in our Firebase console. First, let's take a look at the authentication tab. Yes, we can see that. Uh, my Google account is here. This is my unique user ID in uh, for this project. Uh, now let's take a look at the database. Yes, I can see that in a database uh, we have uh, a new record uh, under users. There is my user ID, settings, registration token, and the value of the Firebase registration token. Next, let's take a look at the storage. Here we have users, my user ID, audio, and I have raw files which are the audio recorded by the Android application. This audio is then used by Google Speech uh, API to do the voice recognition. 